Maybe you want to set some new goals. Maybe you want to get started with something new, but you're really struggling to get motivated. And um, you know, it's probably been a little bit frustrating. Maybe you're getting stuck in your own head a little bit, thinking it's a new year, it should be new year, new me. I should be feeling motivated, but I just am not And it's getting to you a little bit. Look, I totally get it, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. You're not supposed to feel motivated. Well, at least not the way most people think that they should. Because when it comes to motiva- motiv- motivation, motivation, most people feel like it's this feeling they should feel like, come on, ooh, I'm ready to go, boom, 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 boom. And that's what they think motivation should be. But that's not what it is. And if you think about it, how often do you ever feel like that? Very rarely, right? And if we're relying on that feeling to come before we do anything, then we're always going to be going around in circles, spinning our wheels and not getting anywhere. But here's the other thing about it that's really, really important for everyone to understand is that you're not supposed to feel like that right now anyway because we're in the middle of winter. Have you looked outside? It's dark. It's freezing cold. It's wet. It's miserable. You've just come off the back of Christmas as well. Probably ate a little bit too much, drank a little bit too much. Energy levels are down. We haven't moved a lot, so we're feeling a little bit lethargic. So you're not going to have that feeling of motivation, right? That real buzzy, yeah, let's go. And look at the year that we've just had and we're just back into another lockdown. So that feeling that people are looking for, that I should feel motivated, you're not supposed to feel like that right now. And this is a really important thing to to understand here. You don't need that feeling to actually do something about it. So one of the biggest problems that ends up having people, well, it's just got, talking about dark, it's just got so dark out there that the darkness is coming. Do you notice I've got dark on the, the screen as well? So one of the biggest problems that happens with people when they're struggling with motivation is that they're waiting around for this feeling to strike. You know, that one that I just spoke about there, I need to feel motivated, I just can't feel motivated. And we're sitting around waiting for that to happen, which ends up in nothing happening. The reality is the motivation usually comes after the doing. So we have to try and find a way to get ourselves to take action and start making making progress or doing something towards a goal for the motivation to actually truly kick in. And what ends up killing those people and leaves them struggling for motivation is that they're sitting around waiting for this feeling, but that feeling never comes. That's problem number one. Problem number two is this, a lack of clarity. One of my favorite ever books is a book called Switch by Chip and Dan Heath. And there's a great line in this where they say, lack of motivation is often just due to a lack of clarity. And when it comes to a lack of clarity, there's often a lack of clarity clarity in three key areas that really has people struggling to find motivation. A lack of clarity in what someone wants, a lack of clarity in why they want to do something and a lack of clarity in how they're going to do it. When it comes to what somebody wants, people will often come to me and they say, Lee, look, I'm really struggling for motivation. I'm finding it really hard to get motivated right now. Have you got any advice for me? I'll be like, yeah, cool. Okay, what's your goal right now? And the person will go, well, I don't really know. I haven't really thought about it. Okay, no worries. Um, what would you like to have happen? And they're like, oh, I don't know. I actually haven't thought about that either. Okay, cool. How the fuck are you supposed to feel motivated then? If you don't know what you want, and it's crazy how often this happens, we're not clear on what we want, you're never gonna feel motivated. Because if you don't know what you want, how are you supposed to feel motivated to get it? So lack of clarity kills that. Lack of clearer clarity about why. Why is it important to you? Why does it matter? What's the reason you wanna do it? So often that's not clear. That's one of the big ones, it's not clear. And if you're not clear on that, you're always gonna have that struggle for motivation. It's gonna feel like you're having to force yourself to do it. But when that's really, really, really clear, you don't have to worry about motivation because you know why you're doing it. The reason is in here. And that's a big, big thing. So if you're not clear on that, motivation will always be a struggle. And then the how part. This is often a massive, massive reason for people struggling to feel motivated or to get started. Because if we're not clear on how we're gonna do it, like what needs to happen? Where do I start? What's involved? What am I willing to do to achieve the goal? If that stuff's not clear, it often leads to people feeling really overwhelmed. Maybe this has happened to you. Um, find it really hard to get started because when we don't know what the next step is or we don't know where to go or what to do or where to start, 
you'll always struggle with over, uh, lack of motivation and you'll feel pretty much overwhelmed as well. So really important with that one, the first two are kind of on you. You have to sit down and figure it out. But the last one, if you don't know how, and that's the thing that's struggling you to get motivation, ask for help. Reach out and get someone who does know how to get you there and get them to give you some help, which by the way, that is something that I'm absolutely brilliant at doing and we're phenomenal at helping people get and stay motivated on our program Shape Up. So if that is the thing that's holding you back, reach out to me, let me know, okay? So before I go, I just want to recap a couple of quick little points here, right? Stop waiting around to feel motivated in order to try and get motivated and take action. Take action and let the motivation come afterwards. Understand that you won't feel motivated like most people feel they should, that feeling. You're not gonna feel like that all the time and you don't need it because guess what? You can do the thing without the motivation. Motivation will come afterwards as well. And remember, a lack of clarity is the massive reason for struggling or a complete lack of motivation. If you're not clear on what you want, why you want it, and how you're going to get there, you will always struggle with motivation. Look, I really hope you found this helpful. And a really key point before I go as well, remember, you don't have to feel motivated to do it. And try to rely on your commitment as opposed to a feeling of motivation. Do it because you said you would. Do it because it's important to you that's much more important and that's much more powerful a way to get to take action rather than relying on this feeling of motivation the whole time. All right, I'm out of here. If you found this video useful or helpful, do me a massive favor. And obviously if you've got to this point in the video, give it a like, give it a share and tag somebody else in this video who needs to hear it. I hope this helped. Talk to you later.